Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Gomaraj. Okay, now it's good. Om Magyana Timaranda Syakyana Shalakaya Taksuran Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kaupata Rubyasya Kripa Sindhu Vaevacha Patitanam Pavani Vyo Vaishnavi Vyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadara Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavanda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare We're reading the Nectar of Devotion and we're on Chapter 1, The Characteristics of Pure Devotional Service. So we heard about the first characteristic was described as it gives immediate relief from all kinds of material distress. Then the second characteristic was that Krishna consciousness is all auspicious. And then the third characteristic was that happiness was about happiness in Krishna consciousness, that it is greater than any other kind of happiness. And then we heard the fourth characteristic was described as the rareness of pure devotional service. So, uh, the first two characteristics first two characteristics, they describe devotional service in sadhana bhakti. And then the third and the fourth characteristic about the happiness of devotional service and the rareness of pure devotional service describe about bhava bhakti. Oh no, actually, that's wrong. Oh, they're in a different order here, actually. Okay, anyway, uh, the happiness of Krishna consciousness, that is bhava bhakti, but the rareness of pure devotional service, that is actually prema bhakti. Mm. And then the happiness of becoming one with the Supreme. This is what we're going on to next. It's the next characteristic. And that is describing again Bhava Bhakti. That actually the happiness of becoming one with the Supreme is inferior to the happiness of Krishna consciousness. And then we have we still have the final one which is the only means to attract Krishna. All right, so we're going to hear about the happiness of becoming one with the Supreme. Recording in progress. So Rupa Goswami says that if Brahmananda or the happiness of becoming one with the Supreme is multiplied one trillion times 
it still cannot compare to an atomic fraction of the happiness derived from the ocean of devotional service. So we can understand that there is happiness from becoming one with the Supreme, but it is nothing compared to the happiness we get from devotional service. Okay, so then Rupa Goswami gives a quote from the Hari Bhakti Sudodaya where Prahlad Maharaj is described as glorifying Lord Nasringadev by his prayers. Prahlad Maharaj was the only one who could actually satisfy Lord Nasringadev with his prayers. There were many demigods all there, and even his own wife, the wife of Lord Nasringadev is Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune. She was also there, and they all tried to offer prayers to pacify Lord Nasringadev but they were not successful. But Prahlad Maharaj was then brought forward and when Lord Nishringadev saw Prahlad Maharaj then he felt great love for Prahlad. So Prahlad Maharaj says to Lord Nasringadev, he says, My dear Lord of the Universe, I am feeling transcendental pleasure in your presence. And I have become merged in the ocean of happiness. Prahlad Maharaj continues, he says, I now consider the happiness of Brahmananda to be no more than the water in the impression left by a cow's hoof in the earth compared to this ocean of bliss. <laughs> So we can imagine, you know, if a cow makes a hoof print on the earth, it's not going to take very much water to fill up the hoof print. So that is like the happiness of Brahmananda. It's like that very small amount of water compared to the ocean. 
นั้นเนี่ยเป็นปริมาณน้ําของความสุขที่ได้รับจากพระความกับความสุขในการรู้ตัวเสร็จสำหรับใช้ที่เป็นเหมือนกับมหาสมุทร So devotional service is taking us into the ocean of bliss การรู้ตัวเสร็จสำหรับใช้เนี่ยทำให้เราในอยู่ในมหาสมุทรแห่งความเพลิดเพลินสุข And then another quote is given this time from the Bhavarta Deepika which is Sridhar Swami's commentary on the Srimad Bhagavatam So Sridhar Swami was the original commentator on the Srimad Bhagavatam. He appeared in this world a long time ago. Sridhar Swami appeared in this world a long time ago. He was the original commentator on the Srimad Bhagavatam, long before Lord Chaitanya. Sridhar Swami เนี่ยได้เกิดบนโลกบานี้เนี่ยเป็นระยะเวลาที่นานมากแล้วแล้วก็ให้คำอธิบายในในส่วนของหนังสือสิมาบทัมซึ่งท่านเนี่ยมาก่อนพระองค์เจ้าเจตันยา So Prahlad Maharaj, uh, Rupa Goswami is quoting from that commentary, and he says Sridhar Swami has written that. Uh, he says, "My dear Lord, some of the fortunate persons who are swimming in the ocean of your nectar of devotion, and who are relishing the nectar of the narrations of your pastimes, certainly know ecstasies." That immediately minimize the value of the happiness derived from religiousness, economic development, sense gratification, and liberation. เรื่องราวลีลาของพระองค์แน่นอนว่ารู้ถึงความปลื้มปิติสุขทิพย์ทำให้คุณค่าแห่งความสุขที่ได้รับจากการปฏิบัติศาสนาพัฒนาเศรษฐกิจการสนองประสาทสัมผัสและความหลุดพ้นหดหายไปทันที Such a transcendental such a transcendental devotee regards any kind of happiness other than devotional service as no better Than straw in the street. นี่บอกว่าสาวสาวกทิพย์ผู้นี้พิจารณาว่าความสุขใดๆนอกจากการริ้ต้นเสียสละรับใช้ไม่ดีไปกว่าใบหญ้าบนถนน Straw in the street is something very insignificant. It has no value. It's of no meaning to anyone. ใบหญ้าบนถนนเนี่ยมันมันเป็นสิ่งที่ไร้ไร้ประโยชน์หรือไร้คุณค่ามันไม่มีใครจะเห็นค่าหรือเห็นประโยชน์ And so in this way, a devotee considers the happiness from any kind of material endeavor to be just like straw in the street. ก็เหมือนกันความสุขที่ไม่มีค่าแบบนั้นเนี่ยก็เหมือนกับคนที่ไม่ได้ไม่ได้อยู่ในเอ่อไม่ได้อยู่ในการมหาสมุทรแห่งน้ำที่แห่งการอุทิศตนเสียสละ So in this way, the happiness of becoming one with the supreme is very insignificant compared to the happiness of devotional service. อาจารย์ความสุขที่แบบจะเป็นหนึ่งเดียวกับองค์พระขวานี้เนี่ยมันเปรียบเทียบแค่น้อยนิดกับความสุขที่บุคคลจะได้รับถ้าเกิดว่าเขาปฏิบัติการที่ตนเสียสละรับใช้ต่อผู้อื่นใช่ There is some pleasure. There is some pleasure to get in, to merge into the oneness and to get liberation into the Brahman, to come to that level of merging into the supreme. Certainly, gives some relief from material existence. แต่มันก็มีความสุขอยู่ก็มีความสุขอยู่ในระดับหนึ่งการเป็นหนึ่งหนึ่งกับ
ประมาณก็คือจะให้จะได้รับความหลุดพ้นจากความความทุกทางโลกวัตถุนี้อยู่ในระดับหนึ่ง But the happiness of devotional service is so much greater that that kind of happiness of merging into the oneness is insing has no meaning compared to the happiness of devotional service. All right. Now we're reading about attracting. There, Hari Krishna, Archana. Recording in progress. Archana. Hare Krishna, are you back, Archana? Am I back? Hare Krishna, yes, Guru Maharaj, you are back. Okay, we got disconnected. So we're going to read about attracting Krishna. So Rupa Goswami. Rupa Goswami has stated that devotional service attracts even Krishna. Krishna attracts everyone, but devotional service attracts Krishna. The symbol of devotional service in the highest degree is Radharani. Krishna is called Madan Mohana, which means that he is so attractive that he can defeat the attraction of thousands of cupids. But Radharani is still more attractive for she can even attract Krishna. So devotees call Srimati Radharani by the name Madana Mohana Mohini, meaning the attractor of the attractor of Cupid. So yesterday we were reading the Krishna book and we were reading about Krishna. Can you hear me? Yes, So I was saying. Yes, I was saying mm -hmm. that we were reading the book about Krishna. So today we're reading the book which is about Radharani. Because this book, The Nectar of Devotion, this is all about devotional service. And Radharani is the Attracts everyone, but rad, but devotional service is done by Radharani. Krishna 
แล้วการวิตนเสียสละรับใช้ประเภทที่รารรานีทรงทำเนี่ยสิ่งนั้นเนี่ยสามารถดึงดูดกัชนาดาโซดิสส์ very important book we have just as we read about Krishna we also read about Radharani อันนี้เนี่ยเป็นหนังสือที่สำคัญมากเหมือนกับเราอ่านเกี่ยวกับ Krishna เนี่ยเราก็ต้องอ่านเกี่ยวกับ Radharani ด้วยเช่นกัน So Radharani can attract Krishna Radharani เนี่ยสามารถดึงดูด Krishna นะ Krishna can defeat Cupid. We are controlled by Cupid. But Krishna conquers Cupid, so he is called Madana Mohana. Madana is Cupid, and Madana Mohana means one who conquers Cupid. แต่ว่าคริชนาเนี่ยสามารถควบคุมกรรมเทพได้มาดนาเนี่ยแปลว่ากรรมเทพแต่ก็โมหะนาเนี่ยแปลว่าสามารถที่จะควบคุมได้ and Krishna doesn't just defeat one cupid he defeats many thousands of cupids แต่ว่าคริชนาเนี่ยทรงไม่ได้ควบคุมกรรมเทพแค่องค์เดียวแต่พวกเนี่ยควบคุมกรรมเทพเป็นพันพันองค์ but Krishna is defeated by Radharani. So Srimati Radharani, she is the attractor of the attractor of Cupid. So her name is Madana Mohana Mohini. So Prabhupada continues. He says to perform devotional service means to follow in the footsteps of Radharani. การปฏิบัติการวิตนเสียสลับใช้หมายถึงการปฏิบัติตามรอยพระบาทของรารารานี And devotees in Vrindavan put themselves under the care of Radharani. สาวกที่บรินดาวันอยู่ภายใต้การดูแลของรารารานี And by putting themselves under the care of Radharani, this way they get perfection in devotional service. และจากการที่เขาเนี่ยอยู่ภายใต้รารานีเนี่ยทำให้เขาเนี่ยได้สามารถบรรลุถึงความสมบูรณ์แห่งการวิตนเสียสละรับใช้ได้ So we should understand that devotional service is not an activity of the material world เราจะต้องเข้าใจก่อนว่าการวิตนเสียสละรับใช้เนี่ยมันไม่ใช่เป็นกิจกรรมของโลกวัตถุ It's directly under the control of Radharani. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is confirmed that the Mahatmas or great souls are under the protection of Daivi Prakriti, the internal energy, meaning Radharani. ในพระกฤตาเนี่ยได้กล่าวไว้ว่ามหาธมาหรือว่าดวงวิญญาณผู้ยิ่งใหญ่เนี่ยจะอยู่ภายใต้การปกป้องของไดวิมเปอร์ตีหรือพลังงานเบื้องสูงของรัตรานี้ So this is described in the ninth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita มหาธมนัสตุมมปัตตาไดวิมพระกฤติมอาชิตาบัจันติอานัญญามนัสโอ Always chanting my glories, endeavoring with great determination, these great souls perpetually worship me. Oh, well, the Mahatmas, are, the great souls, are under the protection of the divine energy, 
and they are fully engaged in devotional service. So, so Krishna has three different kinds of energies. There's the material energy, there's the marginal energy, and there's the spiritual energy. So the the internal energy is called the Daivi Prakriti and that is personified by Srimati Radharani. So if someone's doing devotional service, they they're not going to get any karma for that because they're doing devotional service. It's a spiritual activity. If they do material activities which have no connection with Krishna, then they're under the external energy, not the internal energy, they're under the external energy. The external energy is called Bahiranga Maya. The maya, the external energy, and the external energy punishes and makes our life very difficult and gives us reactions. But the material, the, the spiritual energy, the internal energy that protects us. Radharani is very kind to the devotees. But if we go to the external energy, then we come under the control of Durga. Mother Durga, she carries a trident to make her life difficult. So, Rupa Goswami gives some evidence to support this. He quotes from the 11th canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, 14th chapter, verse 20. Rupa Goswami so this is this section is from the Uddhava Gita. Lord Krishna is giving instructions to Uddhava, and it's an important part of the Srimad Bhagavatam. It's called the Uddhava Gita. Lord Krishna speaking to Uddhava. So Krishna says to Uddhava, Uddhava is a very, very dear devotee of Lord Krishna, and Lord Krishna says to him that you may know it from me that the attraction I feel for devotional service rendered by my devotees is not to be attained even by the performance of mystic yoga philosophical speculation, ritualistic sacrifices, the study of Vedanta, 
the practice of severe austerities or the giving of everything in charity. อุดาวัติที่รักเธออาจจะรู้จักค่าว่าแรงสเสน่ห์ดึงดูดที่ข้ารู้สึกเมื่อสาวกอุทิศตนเสียสละถวายการรับใช้ต่อข้าแม้แ
บุคคลที่เป็นสาวกเนี่ยคือเขาเนี่ยจะไม่คิดว่าตัวเองเนี่ยดีหรือว่าเด่นกว่าสาวรูปอื่น So Maharaj Yudhisthira was thinking that Prahlad Maharaj, he is really a devotee of Krishna. I am nothing. Because he heard about how Prahlad Maharaj was suffered, he suffered so much. His father tried to kill him in so many ways. เพราะว่าได้ยินเรื่องราวที่ปรลัดมาราเนี่ยโดนคุณพ่อเนี่ยทำลายพยายามทำลายเนี่ยหลายทางมาก And then finally Lord n a r s i n g a d e v came and protected p r a l a d แต่ในที่สุด n a r s i n g a d e v เนี่ยก็ปรากฏแล้วก็ปกป้องปรลัด So Maharaj y u d h i s t h i r was thinking Oh p r a l a d Maharaj he is really a great devotee So while Maharaj was Maharaj u d h i s t h i r was thinking like that, then Narada Muni spoke to him. ขณะที่มหาราชยุดิสตีนคิดแบบนั้นอยู่เนี่ยนารามุนีก็เดินมากล่าวกับท่านว่า And Narada Muni says to Maharaj u d h i s t h i r he said, "Oh, my dear King y u d h i s t h i r You, the Pandava brothers, are the only fortunate people in this world. แต่ท่านก็กล่าวว่าโอ้กระสัดยูดิสทีระที่รักพระองค์พี่น้องพันดวะเป็นผู้เดียวที่โชคดีที่สุดในโลก The supreme personality of Godhead has appeared on this planet. And is presenting himself to you as an ordinary human being. And he is always with you in all circumstances. And he's living with you and covering himself from the eyes of others. The other people they cannot understand that Lord Krishna is the supreme Lord, but he is still living with you. As your cousin, as your friend, and even as your messenger. All right. So, Lord Krishna was doing like that. He was living with the Pandavas, and he was their friend. He was a friend of Arjuna. Uh, uh, and he became the messenger for Maharaj u d h i s t h i r แต่ท่านก็เคยเป็นคนส่งสารให้มหาราชยูดิสตีด้วย And he was their relative they were cousins แล้วก็เป็นญาติด้วยความจริงแล้วเป็นลูกพี่ลูกน้องกัน Because Kunti was the she was the sister of Vasudev เพราะว่าพนางกุนตีเนี่ยเป็นน้องสาวของวาสุเดฟ So there was a relationship between the Pandavas and Lord Krishna. And Lord Krishna was always concerned about the Pandavas. He was always trying to help them in all their difficulties. 
แล้วก็กระชาเนี่ยก็คอยช่วยเหลือพันธุ์ดาวายอยู่เสมอกับทุกสถานการณ์ที่มันยาก So Narada Muni says to Maharaj Yudhisthira, he says, "Therefore, you must know that nobody in this world is more fortunate than you." So Narada Muni, he said, "Narada Muni, he said, 'Nobody in this world is more fortunate than you.'" Narada, Maharaj Yudhisthira was thinking, "Oh, we're very fallen. We're not very good. Prahlad Maharaj is so great." But Narada Muni said, "No, you're also very, very fortunate." Because Narada Muni, he said, "Prahlad Maharaj is so great." So sometimes it's like that. We don't appreciate sometimes how fortunate we are. We are always thinking other people are more fortunate than me. Oh, they are so lucky. I'm not so fortunate. So Maharaj Judas dear, he was thinking, oh yeah, we are very fallen. We Pandavas, we're not so lucky. Prahlad Maharaj is so great. But Mahar, but Narada Muni is telling Maharaj Yudhisthira, no, you Pandavas are very fortunate. You've got so much to be thankful for. So we have to be grateful for whatever we have by the grace of Krishna. Okay. So then Prabhupada quotes. See, Prabhupada is writing. He says in the Bhagavad Gita. When Krishna appeared in his universal form, Arjuna prayed. Arjuna prayed when Krishna appeared in the universal form. He prayed, "My dear Krishna, I thought of you as my cousin brother, and so and so I have shown disrespect to you in so many ways, calling you as Krishna or friend." ตรงนี้เนี่ยตอนตอนที่ในพระวิธีที่ออร์จูนาเนี่ยจะบอกจะถวายบทมนต์ต่อกริชนาตอนที่ตอนที่เห็นเห็นรูปลักษณ์จักรวาลของกริชนาบอกว่ากริชนาที่รักข้าคิดว่าพระองค์ทรงเป็นญาติพี่น้อง But you are so great, I could not understand. แล้วก็บอกว่าอ่แต่ว่าพระองค์จนข้าเนี่ยไม่ได้ให้ความเคารพกับพระองค์ไปแต่พระองค์เนี่ยทรงเป็นบุคลิกภาพที่ยิ่งใหญ่มากแต่ข้าไม่เข้าใจ Yes in in the in the eleventh chapter in the Bhagavad Gita you have Arjuna telling Krishna he said previously you know I I was joking with you I would say Hey Krishna Hey Yadava Hey Saketi, and he, and Arjuna thought, you know, by calling Krishna by the name Krishna, that you know I'm 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 allowing you to be my friend, although I'm so much great. Arjuna was thinking I'm greater than you, and but he was thinking I'll be kind to Krishna. I'll let Krishna be my friend. กับพระองค์ไปอย่างนั้นบางทีค่ะเนี่ยก็หยอกล้อเล่นกับพระองค์เรียกพระองค์ว่าเฮติชนาเฮยาแต่ว่าเฮสเกคีอย่างนี้ไป
ค่ะก็แบบไม่ได้ตั้งใจให้ความเคารพแล้วค่ะก็ยังคิดว่าท่านเนี่ยโชคดีที่ได้คบค่าเป็นเพื่อน So Arjuna was saying to Krishna, hey, hey, Yadava, that you like you be a Yadava. Although you don't have even kingdom, you don't have anything, but still I'll give you a title and will make you feel important. I'm being merciful to you. Arjuna was like making jokes with Krishna. แต่ว่าถึงแม้ว่าท่านเนี่ยยังไม่ได้เป็นกษัตริย์ของที่ไหนก็แล้วแต่แต่ข้าเนี่ยจะตั้งจะเรียกท่านให้ว่าญาติวาแล้วกัน But then, after the bat, at the time of the battle of Kurukshetra, they came on the battlefield. Krishna showed the universal form to Arjuna, and Krishna spoke yeah. Bhag Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna. And then Arjuna began to understand that Krishna is really the supreme personality of God. หลังจากนั้นเนี่ยอาจารย์ก็เริ่มเข้าใจว่าคริสต์น่าเนี่ยเป็นบุคลิกภาพสูงสุดแห่งพระเจ้าจริงๆ And Arjuna was regretting. He was feeling guilty that oh, I've been treating you with contempt, and I've been joking with you, and sometimes we would lay together and would eat together, and I didn't show you any respect. And then he said, "Sometimes we would eat together, and 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 we would eat together." But then, when Krishna showed the Vishwarup, the universal form, then Arjuna understood that oh, Krishna is so much greater than me. I'm nothing compared to Krishna. It's Krishna who is the supreme personality of Godhead. And I'm just his tiny, tiny servant. Arjuna understood. I'm just nothing compared to Krishna. So Arjuna was realizing his position in relation to Krishna. So, so Prabhupada explains. He says that was the position of the Pandavas, that Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead, the greatest among the greats, and he remained with the Pandavas because he was attracted by their devotion. And by their friendship and by their love. ซึ่งพระพุทธองค์ทรงอธิบายบอกว่านั่นคือสถานภาพของพันธวัตรถึงแม้ว่าพระเจ้าเนี่ยจะทรงเป็นองค์พระขวานเปลือกภาพสูง
So this is, Prabhupada said, this is the proof of how great this process of devotional service is. It can attract even the Supreme Personality of Godhead. God is great, but devotional service is greater than God because it attracts Him. People who are not in devotional service can never understand what great value there is in rendering service to the Lord. So we see this every day, we see this in our course of our life, we see so many people, they cannot understand what is devotional service, they don't appreciate. They are not doing devotional service and they have no faith in Krishna, so they cannot understand the value of devotional service. But for devotees, for those who are devotees who chant the holy name and who have faith in Krishna, then they take great pleasure and great satisfaction in loving Krishna and in serving Krishna. And they don't want one who is engaged in devotional service, he's so satisfied, he doesn't want anything more. Because he already has every he has the highest thing. So, in this way, uh, we're hearing about the, how to attract Krishna, that only by devotional service is, are we able to attract Krishna. And we see also in Lord Chaitanya's Shikshastikam prayers, Lord Chaitanya says that he doesn't want wealth and he doesn't want followers and he doesn't want to enjoy praise from others. He, he, he doesn't want to enjoy the opposite sex. He only wants devotional service. เราก็สามารถเห็นได้เยสเราเราก็สามารถเห็นได้จากตัวอย่างที่พระองค์เจ้าเจตนาทรงได้ตรัสไว้ในสิทธาสตกรรมว่าข้าพเจ้าเนี
ดยชาติสำนึกเนี่ยเขาก็จะพยายามหาอะไรเขาจะไม่มีความพึงพอใจเขาจะพยายามหาอะไรอยู่เสมอ Okay, so we'll stop here and ask if there's any questions tonight. Okay, วันนี้เราจะจบคำบรรยายไว้เพียงเท่านี้นะคะเราจะมาดูกันว่ามีคำถามอะไรไหมวันนี้ Yes, uh, Chinese. Uh, I can see from the chat box. Oh, เดี๋ยวให้ให้คนจีนถามก่อนกันเชิญเลยค่ะเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องเรื่องยามันได้ที่รามันได้จีนได้วันที่深深的顶拜咕噜玛哈拉家感恩咕噜精彩的讲课请问咕噜两个问题第一个问题放光中的灵魂是否处于中性关系ฟาย嘎噜三十五章中说 Brahma Buddha 处于对神中性的爱这种中性的关系是指放光中的灵魂和主的关系吗？嗯，最后一个就是是他说什么放光？他说是不是这种中性关系指的是放光中的灵魂，就是在布拉玛九体的这个灵魂和主的关系？是布拉玛九体，是这么理解？嗯。Uh, well, in the Bhagavad Gita, the 18th chapter, they speak about Brahma Buddha, Prasannatma. When you come to the platform of Brahman, you'll be a joyful soul, and that is the beginning. That is the platform on which you begin devotional service. In the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 18, they describe that. ปรมาบุตรประสนาธมาแปลว่าบุคคลที่มาสถิตในระดับประมาณเนี่ยคือเขาจะมีความมีความพึ่งพอใจในตนเองซึ่งอันนี้เนี่ยเป็นพื้นฐานของการเริ่มต้นในการวิจารณ์เสียสารัจใช So coming to the platform of the Brahma Buddha is not the end. That is that is the goal for the impersonalists, but for the devotees that is the beginning. Of devotional service. อันนั้นเนี่ยถือว่าเป็นจุดมุ่งหมายสูงสุดสำหรับพวกเขาแต่ว่าสำหรับสาวกเนี่ยอันนั้นเนี่ยเป็นจุดเริ่มต้น。他说中性关系啊，那个中性关系，这个是什么关系？萨提。嗯，接着他问就是。放光中和主是合一的吗？还是就没有关系？放光是什么？就是这这个灵魂，就是在放光当中和主是合一的吗？然后还是就是和主没有关系了呢 ？Is it is the soul and the individual soul and the and the, and God Himself are they on the same? Platform, huh? What is the relation? What is the relationship between spirit? ความสัมพันธ์ระหว่างสิ่งมีชีวิตกับองค์พระวาในระดับทิพย์เนี่ยมันเป็นยังไง Krishna, but he becomes forgetful in the material world. เราเนี่ยมีความสัมพันธ์กับในโลกวัตถุ In the material world, he's bewildered by the material energy, but then when he comes from a Brahman, he realizes he's not the body. Uh, 
So he may, he may be an impersonal, but the, the, the problem is sometimes people come to the platform of Brahma Jyoti, they're impersonalists, and they think that ultimately there's only the, the oneness. They don't understand that there can be variety, there can be different relationships. They simply think of the oneness merging. But the devotee, he will come to the platform of Brahman and then cultivate his relationship with Krishna according to his particular mood. Now some people will be in the, in the mood of neutrality. They will simply appreciate the opulences of Krishna but they may not take up devotional service. And others, they come to the platform of service. They actually become the servants engaged in service to Krishna. So that is the predominant mood in Vaikuntha. But in Goloka Vrindavan, you get the higher rasas exchanges. If they go into Goloka, then they may be Krishna's friends, they may be Krishna's parents, they may be Krishna's lovers, like the gopis. Of course, in Vaikuntha you also have Krishna's parents. Vasudeva and Devaki are there in Vaikuntha. They're also parents of Krishna. They're different from Nanda and Yashoda. So it will be different for different devotees. Different devotees will understand their relationship with Krishna in different ways according to their particular mood with Krishna. Some like to serve Krishna as their child, and some like to be, have a, be a friend with Krishna, and some like to love Krishna. Hmm. Yeah. Any other? Oh, oh, hello. Is it river? Uh, oh, are the are the trees and the the rivers? Uh, is their relationship with Krishna in Goloka the same as the relationship with Krishna in Vaikuntha? Mm. Well, uh, we see in Goloka you have the Yamuna. I don't know about in Vaikuntha. I, you know, in, if you go to Vaikuntha, you go, for example, to Mathura, 
or Dwarka. You're not going to see much of the Yamuna. The Yamuna is more prominent in Vrindavan. You have to go to Goloka. Now trees, there are different kinds of trees everywhere. But in Vrindavan you have special trees like Kadamba trees. But in Vaikuntha you have Kalpa Briksha trees. เอ่อนามแม่น้ําเนี่ยก็จะต่างกันอย่างที่ที่โกโลกาเนี่ยเราจะเห็นว่าจะมีแม่น้ําเยมุนาอยู่ที่จะเห็นเห็นได้เยอ
and he will have pastimes with the gopis in the waters of the Yamuna. But that doesn't happen in Vaikuntha. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, so learn knowledge, uh, listening to class, and how you, how you, what is it? Uh, read, reading books, which is the best? So, mm. Okay. Mother Jiga Tamwa, can Rian Ru, can Amnesu, Lua, can Fang class, Nia, and I did his soup. Well, they're all absolute, they're all on the same platform, but it depends also how you do them. Just like sometimes you read the book, and you may read the book, you may not understand what you read. And you may read, you may forget everything, you may not take anything in. So there's quality in everything. There's quality in reading, there's quality in hearing, there's quality in chanting. So if you do it with genuine love and devotion, then that's the main thing. Whatever, it doesn't matter what you do, the important thing is the quality which you do it. Uh, okay, yeah, how you went to? Sati? Yeah, the second question is, in Gate from them, if she gets some money from them and like that, does she get karma from them? Yes, if you use the money, for sense gratification, then you get karma. But if you use the money for Krishna, then you'll be okay. You have to have a job, you have to work, you have to make some money. So, that, yeah, there will be some karma. But if you do it all for Krishna, you, you use the money for the service of Krishna, then there will be no karma. Krishna will protect you. 
กันถ้าเกิดว่าเราเนี่ยมาเอาเงินนั้นมาสนองประสาทสัมผัสของตัวเองความสุขของตัวเองอันนั้นเนี่ยก็จะมีแต่ถ้าเกิดเราเนี่ยเอามารับใช้กิจการเนี่ยตรงนั้นก็จะไม่เป็นอะไรโอเค yes ถ้าถ้าเป็นคนที่สร้างกับเป็นทีชื่อการที่ตัวเองคุ้ยเชื่อหลายคนจะมีความรู้สึกแบบนี้ก็คือการที่ตัวเองคุ้ยเชื่อหลายคนจะมีความรู้สึกแบบนี้ก็คือการที่ตัวเองคุ้ยเชื่อหลายคนจะมีความรู้可以听见我说话吗？听到了，你说，你说。啊，就是，就是，就是，现在就在工作中，然后，嗯，就发现那个之前因为工作上，嗯、呃，就是就是在灵修上偏向灵修的时间更多，然后工作上也有很多的，就是做了很多的不足，然后。就是现在的话，就是有这种亏欠的感觉，所以就是，嗯、呃，就是说不知道怎么来，嗯，面面对这种就是，就是因为现在就是，呃，在就是呃，就是在平衡这个工作和灵修两方面的时候，嗯，就这种心态的话。然后我在这个平衡的过程当中，不把握不好，但现在这种心态，就让我，嗯，在面对工作的时候，就感觉，嗯，就是就是，就是这种心更倾向到工作上的。Oh, so her problem is working with all the people in the job, just trying to be there and to, at the same time to do spiritual practice and to work in the job. It's difficult for her to balance the two situations. Mm. Mm. ให้ทั้งชีวิตทํางานแล้วก็ชีวิตทิพย์เนี่ยมันดําเนินไปด้วยกันให้มันสมดุลกันเขาก็รู้สึกยากนิดนึง Well you have to do a good sadhana every morning if you're strict in your sadhana if every morning you do chanting and wake up nice early and do chanting before you go to work and try to read the scriptures then that Krishna will give you the strength to work And to get along with people. You don't have to worry. Just depend on Krishna. Krishna will help you in every situation. You just have to take shelter of Krishna, chant his holy name, and then go to work. You have to work. You have to have a job. You have to be with people. You cannot avoid people, so you have to put up with people. You have to and you have to be friendly. You have to be nice to them. แต่ไม่ใช่เอาตรงนี้เนี่ยมาเป็นข้ออ้างแบบเราจะไม่ไปทำงานหรือไม่ไปเจอใครผู้คนเนี่ยมันไม่ใช่คุณจะต้องออกไปข้างนอกคุณจะต้องไปเจอคนแต่คุณจะต้องเรียนรู้ศิลปะที่คุณจะสามารถอยู่กับพวกเขาได้โดยที่มันไม่ได้ส่งผลกระทบอะไร You can't you cannot expect everybody's going to be a devotee especially in China you cannot expect everyone's a devotee there's so many people not devotee But you have to be. You have to work with them. You have to somehow get along with them. Yeah, we will not be 
So Krishna will help you. Krishna will give you intelligence how to deal with everyone. And you will get the strength to deal with everyone when you chant Hare Krishna nicely every day. Okay. Okay, Vaishnavi Vani Madhaji has a question. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. My question is uh, uh, we read that the devotional service is more attractive than uh, mystic yoga, charity, hostility and uh, many other things. Uh, why is devotional service more attractive? Is it like uh, in charity, austerity, there is some kind of pride or expectation? Well, yes, Guru Maharaj. Want to know why devotional service is very attractive to Krishna? Yes, devotional service as we say, you know, we're talking about pure devotional service. So pure devotional service means it's done without any th looking for anything in return and it's done without any kind of material desire. So it's the only um. way in which we can satisfy Krishna. มันดีก็ถามว่าทําไมการอนุโทษเสร็จสําหรับใช้ถึงพิเศษสุดแล้วก็ดึงดูดคริสต์นาได้มากที่สุดไม่ใช่การปฏิบัติความเพียรอย่
uh, it's something that trying to make them self become at the same level of the Supreme Lord. Is that do we consider that as a ahankar? No. Oh, the, the, to come at the same level as the Supreme Lord. What is it? Um, ใช่คือแบบว่าเหมือนกับว่าเวลาพี่อ่านแล้วมันแบบเหมือนกับว่าเราเป็นเอ่อเค้าเรียกว่าอะไรมีรูปลักษณ์เหมือนปกติอ่